a man. That's why, ladies, I tell you, do not give your best years, your prime years, to a man who's unsure about you. See, God gave us women something called a woman's intuition. See, you know deep in your heart that this man is in your life, maybe because it's tax season, because you're giving him somewhere to live, um, because of sexual benefits, whatever it is, deep down in your mind, in your heart and soul, you know that this man does not have your best interest. Remember, the enemy is a thief of time. His whole motive is to rob you of your youth. He wants you to be so stressed out in this relationship where your beauty is affected by it. He wants you to be broke with no money. He wants you to be embarrassed by your family and your community. He wants you literally in such a dark and broken place. But the Bible says that through never been the same since I had a child. So for someone to tell me that after I just pushed out a human being, had a blood transfusion, I'm going through so many emotional changes. And you think that my body you think I give a fuck about my body? That's I'm grateful for what I got from my child. I'm grateful for the regulate her brain. I'm trying to get right because now I have <laughs> someone that I'm gonna continue to be responsible for for the rest of my life. And all I want is a little bit of support. You know what Aaron usually guess said? what everybody wants to do? Walk the fuck out. You want to walk out because it's too hard for you because you can't sit here and just ease my pain or, or <laughs> coddle the fucking child while I'm sad because I just went through all of this walking around and wobbling and pushing out a child, maybe got cut up, and you can't even just sit the fuck down for a second and just understand that I'm going through a change and I'm in pain right now and every man is too fucking weak to stay there. You got to walk out. You know how many men have walked out of their life of their kids lives because of that a woman should not make you leave your child ever never been the same since i had a child so for someone to tell me that after i just pushed out a human being had a blood transfusion i'm going through so many emotional changes and you think that my body you think i give a fuck about my body that's i'm grateful for what i got from my okay 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 i think that she's speaking on two things i'm i'm, I'm gonna i'm thinking she's speaking on two things She's saying that when women have kids and her body doesn't look right after a few months or years, you shouldn't be worried about that. She gave birth to a, a human being. That's what she's saying, that you shouldn't worry about a woman's body or weight after she gave birth. You know, that's what I think that's one of the things she's arguing. And then the second argument, I'm thinking from what she's saying that she said that guys leave and they don't stick around to help the woman go through the process of the child situation. They're not emotionally there and stuff. And guys just walk away. And you don't want to stick around. Guys don't stick around. So I think those are the two arguments that she's having. Guys should, are insensitive to women when their body don't look right no more after they gave birth. My argument with that is that the only reason I will sit here and say there's other women that gave birth just like this woman and they worked on their body. That's what I, I will always say. If you gave birth a year or two ago and you still got that baby when you're going to use that excuse, that's unacceptable. Just like that man that don't have a job and he sit here and say he got two years. I didn't have a job is unacceptable because I understand you need time to heal. And that's giving ladies we will give you time, get it together, be there supporting and stuff like that. But at one point, you got to go back and get your body right. Other women have done it. That's not an excuse. You're not going to keep saying my child was the reason why my body looks like this. Other women have given kids. My mother have given but what my, I mean, birth kids and stuff like that. So other women are birthing kids and going back to the gym. What's your excuse? Just say you don't want to do it. That's cool if you don't want to do it, but don't sit here and use the excuse of the child. The child, the child's not the reason. One point you gave birth and now you're just out here being big for no reason. And I think the other argument is that she's saying that guys leave and they don't want to take care of their kids and stuff like that. I don't know what type of guys that she deal with. She, I guess she's a single mom. Uh, apparently the guy probably just walked away and I guess she gave birth to the child. He was like, no, nah, I'm not, I'm not doing this, but I believe you should see signs like if the man is not responsible, I'm me personally, I have to vet the woman that's going to have my kids very hard. I gonna, I'm going to I'm going to vet thoroughly and stuff like that, because she wants you have my kid. I'm not going to say I have three baby mamas. I'm not doing that. If she has my kids, I'll be like, I'm going to take care of my kids. Whatever situation we have relationship, I'm going to take care of my kids. My kids will always have access to everything I build and create. Me and their mother may not be in the same page, but. No matter who the woman is, my kids will always have access to my resources. 
and I'll be the best I can be to be a president pop. If if she makes it hard and I got to go to the court system and pay and stuff like that, I don't mind that either, but I will do my best to be there for my kids above all this. The woman in me, hey, is is whatever, but I will make sure my kids are taken care of above all because you ladies, you want a man that's responsible, that take care of his responsibilities. And he has shown you throughout his life he is responsible consistently. You don't want to go up and down, I'm up and down, I don't know, but no, he's responsible. If you're going to have kids with any men, pick the one that's extremely responsible. Because even if you're in a bad situation, he's still responsible. He'll take care of his kids because he's responsible. But if you sit here and say you, you gave birth and he's walking away, he was he never cared. He never cares. <laughs> Money bag. Jimmy say dogs can have puppy. They want extra credit. Big <laughs> Crazy, man. You trying to start a war in here, man. <laughs> 